Hi, my name is Dave Matsworth with Rego Consulting, and today we're going to describe what ZOG is. Uh, ZOG stands for XML Open Gateway. It is the only supported method within Clarity of getting information into or out of uh, your Clarity instance. ZOG is packaged with Clarity and can be downloaded from your local Clarity instance by going to the administration menu, client downloads, and downloading either the Windows installer or the cross-platform zip. The Windows installer will work on Windows but not other operating systems, whereas the cross-platform zip will work on both Windows and Linux and, and any Unix flavors. I already have my Zog client installed. So when you download your Zog client, you'll download a zip file. It will install a directory on your machine in a specified directory. You can see mine is under the C Zog bin directory. If I back up to the home directory of Zog, you see the directories that are packaged with the Zog client. The bin directory is where you would actually place files that will be executed. The lib directory contains the Java libraries that make up Zog. The WSDLs contain the web service definitions. XML contains the templates that you'll use to execute Zogs. And the XSD contains definitions of the, the web services. So if we're going to execute a Zog, we would have to come into our XML directory and we'll see all the various files or templates that you have the ability to execute. Every template, whether it's a benefit plan, a resource, a project, has a read file and a write file. A read file would be used when you are reading data from Clarity and a write file will be used when writing information into Clarity. If you want to learn more about Zog, we have another session that follows this on how to execute Zogs.